If you want to assess your eczema, you can use a tool called the PO score ad. This tool exists in order for you to better understand your disease. It will also help you to better recognize symptoms. And because your doctor uses exactly the same tool, it will help you to better communicate with your doctor. So how does the PO score ad work? Well, the score represents the state of your eczema over the last three days. To obtain a score, we assess the following four points. First, we assess the extent of your eczema on the surface of the body. Then we assess the severity of the dry skin not affected by eczema. Third, we assess the intensity of the symptoms on the areas affected by eczema. And lastly, we assess the intensity of the more subjective problems caused by eczema, such as itching or sleep loss. So, for the first part, as you can see in this film, you shade in the areas on the outline drawing which correspond to where your eczema is situated. For small surfaces, you can use the palm of your child's hand. One palm corresponds to around 1% of the body surface. In this way you can calculate the surface of the body affected by eczema. The second part relates to the dryness of your skin, and this is a skin which is not affected by eczema. This dryness we call xerosis. So, how dry is your skin? Look at these three images and try to assess at which level your dryness is. A little dry, fairly dry, or extremely dry. Now let's look at the symptoms of your eczema. There can be several symptoms, but there is almost always redness. So how red are the zones of your eczema? On the cheek of this child, we can see three different uh, levels of redness. Try to recognize which corresponds to the redness of your zones. Here we see slightly red. Fairly or moderately red. And extremely red. Now, what about swelling? Is there swelling on various parts of your body? On the back of this child's hand, we can see three different levels of swelling. This swelling is due to liquid which accumulates under the skin, and we call it edema. Slightly swollen. Fairly swollen. Or extremely swollen. When the liquid under the skin in edema comes to the surface, there can be crusts or oozing. Is there crusts or oozing on your plaques? Try to assess the severity of these crusts or oozing according to these three pictures. Is it slight? Is it moderate? Or is it extreme? Because eczema itches and because you scratch, there can be scratch marks on your skin. These scratch marks are called excoriation marks. So using again these three pictures, try to assess the level of excoriation on your skin. A little, average, 
persevere. Now, because eczema is located also in, in, in the large folds of the body, be, for example, behind the knees or in the elbows, this skin becomes thickened in places, leading in severe cases to, to an aspect of elephant skin. Now, use these three pictures to assess what we call lichenification. Slight. moderate or severe. The next step now is to answer yes or no to the three following questions. First, does the skin bleed in certain areas because of your eczema? For example, have you found blood in the bed or on your pajamas? Next, are there cracks in the skin because of your eczema? And lastly, does the skin peel because of your eczema? The fourth and last part now relates to the more subjective symptoms such as itching and sleep loss. Think about the last three days. Were you disturbed by itching? Did you have trouble sleeping? To assess these symptoms, we use a scale from 0 to 10, and you must mark on the scale from 0 to 10 where was the disturbance situated. 0, for example, means there was no disturbance, no itching, and you slept very well, and 10 was the, the worst possible disturbance. Mark on the scale for both itching and for sleep loss how you felt in the last three days. Now, on the form you will receive, you must do four things. First, shade in the extent of your eczema in the outline drawing. Then, assess the dryness of your skin. Then tick the boxes which correspond to the intensity of the various symptoms using the illustrations. And finally, assess on the scale from 0 to 10 the disturbance caused by itching and sleep loss. The final score will be calculated by your doctor, but you can also calculate it using the equations at the end of the form. Well, good luck!